Man, it feels good to be back. Welcome to the Colmont Cabin, a tiny house with a gorgeous, gorgeous view on Airbnb. Let's go check this place out. located in Comont, Tennessee, hence the name the Comont Cabin, and it is very private and peaceful here. You'll pull up on your property, it is gated, so it's totally private, you can drive town, and your property is surrounded by this lakefront water. It is three acres to explore and to roam around, and we're on a rounded section, so we are surrounded by water on three separate sides. Very very beautiful. This is a pristine place to come escape to. You walk up on your property, there's plenty of things to do on the outside, which we'll get to in a bit, but you walk up on the deck and you have your cabin. This is a renovated fishing cabin and it is a tiny house. There is one bedroom, but it can sleep multiple guests. This is a really fun spot for a small family. We'll get to the inside in a second. The exterior is this beautiful black board and batten with the hand railing, the decking. I love what they did with the decking and how they added multiple different colors of wood and textures. It is awesome. This decking on the outside space is rather large. This first section has your outdoor dining area and you can overlook this into the lake right in front of you totally private and peaceful. I mean, this is like a scene out of a movie or something. It is gorgeous. There's string lights all up above this as well. And then we can walk down into your lower section, which has this bench seating, a fire pit right here, and even a really nice, comfortable outdoor couch over here. I spent a lot of my time sitting over here and enjoying the views and the sounds of nature and just having a great time out here. And then you continue walking down and you can just walk straight to the waterfront. And the water has all these lily pads everywhere. They have these flowers coming out and there's even a dock over here on the left side that you can walk out here. You can even fish if you want. Or the best part I think is they leave a paddle boat for you or two kayaks hung up on the shed back here. So I used the kayak and drag it out to the water and I paddled around and had a really good time doing that. Got the kayak out into the water and this is really nice. It's calm, it's peaceful. There's the flowers everywhere and lily pads and you just could not ask for a better experience at an Airbnb than this. Little known fact, I am scared of what's underneath the water so I'm trying not to think about that. Especially not knowing how deep it is. That is terrifying to me. <laughs> But we'll keep enjoying our time. So once you're done having fun around the property, we can walk up. There's these two front sliding doors for the best views and we can walk inside and check that out. You walk inside and this tiny house is absolutely stunning. One of the most beautiful tiny houses I think I've come across, especially with the layout and everything they did to it. It is 100% all renovated, so I think they did a really good job with it. You walk in and this is your main area. On this left side is your living space, this right side is your kitchen, and there's even a loft above the kitchen. On this left side has a wood-burning fireplace, which is really nice in the winter months. I didn't use it because it is June, so I didn't need to use it. And continuing along, you have your living space. A couple seating options, there's a couch against this wall, but this also converts into a bed, if needed, a really cool couch setup. But the main part of this is this huge window that spans across this entire wall, and you get great views of the nature and the water all around you. Unobstructed, there's literally nothing here except nature. So this is a great view for a window, especially for the size of it. This wall is the accent wall and it continues all the way up through the ceiling. And it is beautiful, I love the wood look. Including the floor, the wood flooring is really nice as well. But continuing along, the other side is your kitchen space. This kitchen's pretty large for a tiny house. This side has four bar stool seating options, and a huge waterfall countertop. And this spans across the entire kitchen. And on the other side, you have your little cubby of the kitchen space with all of your cabinets. I love the green cabinets. It even has a dishwasher and a stove here for you, and a generous size refrigerator all here for you 
on this wall, a couple floating shelves with some coffee supplies. They provide everything you need, including creamer and sugar. Some places don't, so that is a bonus here. And even the ceiling, I love the exposed wood beam look of it, and they even hid the lights up inside of here, and it just all looks really good. On the countertop, you'll find this huge box labeled locals only. If you open it up, you have a variety of things to try out, which is incredible. You got moon pies, you got coffee, you got hot sauce, honey, and peanuts, and chocolate covered pretzels. If you wanna try out some local stuff, this is here for you. Continuing along, to add more space for this tiny house, they added a loft. This ladder, which is right next to your refrigerator, goes right up in here, and there's two small beds up here that can be folded out. Definitely for the kids, and this is a fun spot for them. There's cubbies on this left side. This definitely blends in well with this living space. I think they did a great job with it. In this hallway, there is a door in here, and if you open it up, you have a washer-dryer unit combo in here, and just some extra storage for your stuff, which is really nice to have. And right next to that is your bathroom space. Generous sized bathroom, and it is gorgeous in here. Black tiled flooring that goes up through the shower, and on this wall of the shower space is this beautiful hexagon tile as well. So this whole bathroom is tiled, which is nice. I love that. You got your toilet over here on the left. And on the other side, you have the small vanity in this cubby with some shelving over here on the right. So you have everything you need at this bathroom and it looks beautiful. The last door in here is your bedroom. Pretty simple layout. You have the bed right here in the middle and there's even a closet on this side, which is nice to have. But the best thing about this is the sliding doors over here on this side. And this lets you walk out to your other patio space, which houses your hot tub. This hot tub is huge and it's really easy to lift the lid off. And you can sit out here and enjoy your evenings. And once you're done, hop right back in and go to bed. It's that easy. <laughs> So that is everything you get on the inside. Isn't it just so beautiful? I highly suggest this place to come check out and uh, experience it yourself. There's just so much to do here and you know, you don't just get the cabin, you get the whole property, which is what I really love and it really makes the stay memorable and fun and relaxing you can do a lot here so i highly suggest this place the hosts are super kind the link is down in the description to book this place guys thank you for watching my video it feels good to be back it, i took a small hiatus and it feels good to be posting again so thank you for the support share this video if you liked it or send it to somebody that you think they should come check this place out as well because the dates do not last long if you want a cool spot, you got to act on it quick like this one. Anyway, I'll see you guys next week in another video.